Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. Okay, in this video we're going to check the accuracy of the multiple regression model that we created for the cancer data. <clears throat> and so we will do this, um, we'll look at this a couple of different ways. Um, we're going to use what's called RMSE, RMSE. Um, so let me just write this down. RMSE is the root of the mean squared error. And so the idea here is that um, whenever we make an estimate with our model, uh, we can compare that to what the actual, what the actual was. So let, let's just do um, cancer mod reg RMSE on train. Uh, and I'm being kind of detailed with the name there because we'll have different models and um, different accuracy measures and stuff. So we'll have cancer, the cancer mod, the cancer model regression uh, on for RMSE on the training uh, data set. And so what we'll do is take the training data set um, and we'll mutate and put the um, regression prediction for train as predict using cancer mod cancer mod reg okay um so let, let's just look at um, what what we created there okay so we created a, an estimate uh, we added to our train data set an estimate uh prediction estimate based on our model and so using that predict function uh, the predict function all we have to do is pass it the model uh, and so we've we've then created an estimate. So you can see for the first observation, our estimate was 183.9 according to our model, and the actual was 179.5. Uh, the second one, our estimate was 149.6, the actual was 124.1, and so on down the line. So some of them are quite close, some of them are a little bit off, um, and, and that's just the idea. So a lot of that is just uh, currently unexplained error, right? We just don't have a perfect model. No model is going to be perfect. Um, so, so there is some error there. And so one of the first things we want to do is just plot, and then we'll get back to RS, RMSE in just a minute. One of the first things we want to do is just plot. Um, we want to plot the actuals, which would be the target death rate, against, the, uh, against our predicted values, okay? So we'll just do a simple scatter plot here. Uh, and look at the horizontal axis is our actuals, the vertical axis are our predicted models, our predicted values. And so you can see there's a nice positive correlation here. They look like, in general, as the, the actual values increased, our predicted values increased. Um, so at least directionally, we're in the right uh, neighborhood. Uh, we do have this outlier out here, which kind of jumps out at you. And so we saw this earlier uh, in our exploratory analysis that there was an actual that had a death rate of above 350. It was like 362, I believe. Um, and so the good news is that our model predicted that value quite high, right? Uh, it actually did a good job of predicting that value. Now, here was the other outlier. Um, this was probably the one with high incidence rate, but the, the target death rate wasn't as high. The target death rate was a little bit lower. So we predicted that, unfortunately, too high. So that one kind of threw things off. But for the rest of this, um, this actually looks pretty good. Um, not perfect. You know, there's still some noise kind of going around here. Uh, it looks like a cloud. Um, but, but for a first attempt at multiple regression, I think that, that that's a good, a good looking model. So I would expect the error uh, to, not be, to not be too terribly bad. So the first thing we're going to do is create the mean squared error. All right. So mean squared error, we're going to take that cancer mod reg uh, MSE train and we're going to run some calculations on it. Okay. So we'll mutate that. Um, we're going to create the error, which is just going to be the prediction uh, on the regression for training data minus the target uh, death rate. Okay, so that's the actual. Then we'll have squared error is going to be simply error squared. And so we'll pop that into uh, summarize. And so the mean squared error will be the mean of the squared error. All right, so let's go ahead and create this and then we'll take a look at uh, what actually is, is going on here. Um, actually, let me, we need to run this before we, before we summarize. So we keep all of our uh, individual observations here, and then before we summarize with the with the mean. So what's happening is that we'll calculate the error. So it's it's the 183.9 minus 179.4 has an error of 4.4. This one has an 
error of 25.5. This one has an error of negative 0.5. So what happens is that some of these will be high and some will be low. And the way the regression works is if you added up all of these errors, you would get zero. Uh, because by design, the regression, the multiple regression algorithm uh, creates residuals, creates error measures that sum to zero. Uh, it, it does a little bit that are high and a little bit that are low, so on average, it's right in the middle. And so on average, these residuals have a mean of zero. Um, so if we just add them up or if we take their mean, uh, it's, it's going to be zero. And so that's it's rather uninteresting to, to do that. So what we do to get around that is to make them all positive by squaring them. Uh, and then we just find the average of that. So we, we make them all positive by squaring, so that gives us the squared error. And then we summarize that by... Um, taking the mean of the squared error. So that's what we have here, the mean of the squared error. Uh, but then we want to get back into our scale. So our MSE is going to be the square root of the mean squared error. So to get back to scale, um, the scale of our data, uh, since we squared them to make them all positive, we got to take the square root of our number. So our, our MSE here is 21.23234. So training, training uh, our MSE equals... 21.234, 21.234. Um, so that, that's nice. Um, you know, some of these values, the, uh, the target rate values, um, you know, these are in the um, high 100s, you know, uh, up into the 200s at time. So for an error, our average error, you can think of it as 21 units. Um, so that's not too bad. So th that means on average, you know, if we take our estimate, um, compare it to the target death rate, on average, we're off by about 21 units. So in a scale that's in the high 100s, around 200, that's not too bad, you know, to be off by 21 units or, you know, maybe 10, 10 to 20%, some 10, 15% probably, uh, somewhere in that neighborhood. That That's not too bad at all. So uh, very comfortable with that. I think plotting it out looks good. The numbers look good here. Um, but that's the training data. And so we also want to check this on the testing data. Remember, we held out 20% of our data set um, in order to, to test for accuracy. So we want to make a prediction on that test data, on that data that our model has not yet seen, and we'll see how accurate that is. Because if we get an error of 21 on the training data, and then our error is 100 units on the test data, uh, meaning on average our predictions are off by 100 units, uh, well, that's not a very good model. Right. Um, so hopefully we get something that's at least relatively close to 20 to 21. That that would be the best. Um, so. So we'll check our MSE on the on the test data. And so we'll we will create um, let's call it pred uh, pred regression test. Uh, and so we'll just predict um, on our on our cancer mod reg. Uh, and now we can pass it new data. New data is test, right? So new data is test. And um, so RMSE for test, uh, let's call this regression RMSE test uh, is going to be the square root uh, of the mean of um, the test prediction minus uh, test and target death rate uh, squared. Okay, so wh wh what, are, what did I just do here? Let's walk through this calculation, right? So we have, uh, in our test data set, we have the actuals. One of the columns is the actuals. We just created up here the prediction on that data set. So we're taking our predicted values minus the actuals, okay, uh, to get our error. And then we are squaring that error to make them all positive, uh, just like we did on the training data. Then we're taking the mean of the squared error to get MSE, and then we're taking the, the square root of that. Okay, uh, So it's the same calculation as we did with the piping operator. Um, we just did it a little bit differently here. Okay, So let's go ahead and print that out, reg RMSE test. Um, okay, 21.37. How about that, huh? So test RMSE uh, equals 21.37. 0.37. So that, that's actually great, 0.372. Uh, this is really great because what this means is that our training data and our test data, uh, RMSE, are very, very similar. They're not exactly the same. They never will be. They shouldn't be. Uh, but they're very, very similar. Um, so that tells us that not only is our, did our model do, do relatively well on our training data, but it did relatively well on our test data. 
um, or it did at least the same level, uh, it performed at the same level on test data, on, on data it had never seen before. Um, so we can feel pretty confident um, that we're on the right track with, with this model. Now, I don't think we're done, um, but we are at least on, on, the, right, uh, on the right track. Okay, um, so that, that's really great. That's all we're going to do with the multiple regression model. Um, but let's, b before we, we wrap up here, let's just think about what are some other things that could be attempted um, in our multiple regression, uh, in our multiple regression modeling. So, you know, we had, um, we restricted this down to just three variables uh, for our model. So we had a number of other variables that were available to us. So we could create um, additional models that incorporate some of the other variables, uh, some of the other transformed variables. Uh, we could also go back into those variables and do some of the cleaning up some of the, the outliers or the abnormal values like on age and then recheck correlations and see if that tells us anything. Um, we could go with the data set we currently have and eliminate um, these two outlier values and see uh, if we model, you know, if we kind of set those outliers aside and then model based on everything else, see how that changes our model. So all of those would be options for uh, trying to refine this, this model a little bit. And those would be things that, that you would want to try uh, on your own as, as you were kind of working to refine uh, a multiple regression model on this on this data set. Um, so have fun, try those things out if you want. That's going to do it for the multiple regression section. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.